Hello fellow target individuals, this is the Vulcan Wolverine again. And, uh, I don't know, um, I've been doing a lot of these videos, uh, I'm on year two of my gang stalking experience with the electronic harassment and remote, remote uh, neural monitoring, and I've been doing a lot of videos, like, um, wanting to give y'all details about my defenses, um, I'm, I'm gonna, uh, give y'all the story of how it started, where it started, and what I did, and how it kind of progressed, like, all those details, but right now, um, you know, because I've been going so quick, and I'm like, I want to help people, I want to give them information that I have, I want to tell them what I feel about it, um, you know, right now, what I want to do is just speak from my heart to somebody out there, I just, I know there's somebody out there that, that is just feeling so alone, and so full of hate, you know, with these people dumping their hate on them, and trying to hurt them, uh, and stalking them, and I really just want to, you know, speak from my heart right now, uh, to, to anybody out there who needs this, um, you are loved, and you are a human being, and you didn't do anything to deserve this, not, not anything, even if you committed a crime, you should be in jail, <laughs> but you, I'm sorry, that, I shouldn't joke, but no one, no human being deserves this, and God loves you, like, God loves you, and the reason that you were put here, in this position, at this time, is because you are special. The people that are doing this to you, they don't think you're special, but you are. And you, you'll become more special through this circumstance. Um, you know, it'll make you stronger in ways that you'll never have, have even predicted or could describe. It'll let you help people more than you could ever imagine. Uh, it'll make your heart bigger than you could ever imagine. It may rip up your flesh. You know, it may take its toll on your body. You may be tired and fatigued, but your soul is going to grow. And it, I mean, I know that's that's kind of cliche. It's like, you know, pain builds character. But, uh, but it's true. It's true. If you tough it out and you survive it and you know that you're loved, you're a human being, you're a ball of potential that can do anything in the universe, not just the world. You can do anything in the universe, because there are planets out there that we can probably live on in the universe. Um, you know, there's infinite possibilities. And what's happened is your, your situation's become constricted. It's become constricted, and so your thoughts are constricted, and you're depressed about this, you know, because these guys, you know, they're, they're getting to you, or they're, they're shooting microwave weapons at you, or you're being remote neural monitored. You feel controlled and enslaved and dominated over. You feel tyranny. Don't give in to those feelings. Don't feel constricted. Just write a new rule book. Throw out everything you know. You know, start defending yourself. Start loving more. Start loving more. Make yourself. Make a, make a conscious effort to, to be nicer to people when you go out. Even the people, if you think they're following you or stalking you, I mean, I don't, I don't really have too much of that, or I don't notice it because I'm so oblivious. Um, but like, even if you think someone's following you, be be nice to them, do good works so that they don't have anything on you. And I'm not saying stop living your life, you know, stop, uh, you know, if you like drinking or whatever, like don't, you know, you don't need to stop doing that. But just be the best person you can be. And you can get through this. Um, I just know there's somebody, somebody out there right now, just struggling, who's just, just in over their heads. And I'm just talking to them. You're loved. You are loved. There are tons of people. There are many more people in this world that love you than these guys who are gang stalking you. They're a small percentage of the people in the world, and there are a plethora of people out in society that aren't these guys. It seems like they're the only ones in the world because they get close to you. They get close to you and they spew their hate on you. You know, they spew their judgment on you. They shoot you with the weapons close by. So they get, they kind of nest up close to you. But realize there's a whole other world out there. A whole world of people who haven't judged you. And if you're nice to them, they'll be nice to you. There's a whole world out there. You know, um... 
Just don't be constricted. Don't don't let your thoughts get constricted. Just throw it out. You know, if you feel constricted and you feel so anxious that you, you just can't even do anything, just throw it out. Start over. You know, don't feel constricted. Um, because it, it's, it's, well, it's easy to say. But, um, you know, these guys have, they're close. Like, I have two guys on the side and then one... Uh, in, in the front of the house and they're all, you know, trying to kick my butt on a daily basis and shoot me with directed energy, uh, you know, microwave weapons. And it feels like that's the world sometimes. So, you know, maybe maybe if you feel a lot like that, like you're being, like you're getting closed in, if people are closing in on you, you know, go out. Go out for a walk or, uh, you know, drive your car somewhere to a coffee shop and, uh, you know, write or, uh, you know, go to a movie, uh, try and get away from it for a little while if you feel like you can't take it, and, um, uh, man, you're just, you're so important, you're so important in this world, every human being is so unique, and so, you have a talent inside of you that nobody else has, you are something that nobody else can be, and nothing can take that away, ever. Nothing anybody does to you or says to you can take away the fact that you are a unique human being. You're unique, and nobody could be like you. Nobody. Like, nobody in the world can be you. You are you. You're the most special you that you could be. And you've got something to give the world. So I just want to, I wanted to speak from my heart because, like, I've been doing a lot of these videos, and I'm, you know, I kind of... I'm not a good public speaker, so I'm trying to go through the points that I think will help help people. But I want to slow down. Um, and two plus, I mean they they're kind of uh, they're getting a little bit antsy. The guys that are hitting me when I've been I've started these videos, and I think it's not making them very happy. So I've had to fight a little bit harder. Um, but just know you're special. You're you are an infinite ball of human possibilities of human potential and nothing can stop that nothing anybody tells you nothing anybody if they're mean to you or they shoot radiation at you I mean it can't change that you are the only you in the world you're the only you in the world and you can do anything you can do anything there are infinite possibilities this is a season of drought it's a season of uh, you know pain and those seasons come in life but you know this this gang stalking stuff, the directed energy weapons. Uh, it's not going to be hidden for long. Uh, people aren't stupid. They're not stupid. And so just hold out, hold out. Don't give up. Don't give up. There are people who love you out there. Me being one of them. I love you. If you're a targeted individual, I automatically love you, and I automatically think that you're one of the strongest people in the world. Because you know I don't know why why people are picked for being uh why people are picked to be target individuals, but I know that uh, it does make you special. You know, you are special. And the guys that are doing it, they don't think you're special. You know, they think that you could be killed or, you know, they want you out of the way. But in truth, you were picked because you're special. Because you're special. Because there's something about you that, that uh, makes people who want to control the world and uh, they want to control the world with oppression and dominance and they want everybody to be miserable and not create they picked you you know they picked you because you're a threat to them because if you were free you could make a lot of people happy you could make a lot of people's lives more peaceful I mean you like you were picked for a certain reason so um, I, I love you I love you I love you you know, I want to almost do a video where I just say I love you. Um, but I wanted to just speak from my heart in a video because um, I've been going through pretty fast. I'm a, I'm a bad speaker, if you can tell. I have a lot of ums and uhs. Um, <laughs> I just did it. I just did it right after that. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to try and work on that, though. I'm going to try and work on speaking better. And I may write stuff, some stuff down. Probably, uh, you know tell y'all how it happened to me and like uh, when it happened to me and like how it progressed uh, so you can look at your own case and where you're at so if you're like in 
the first month of it, you'll kind of know, you'll, you'll be aware of what to look for. So I'll probably write all that down, and then I'll sound a lot more professional. Um, but this one, I just wanted to speak from my heart. Um, I did it again, I keep saying um, and now I notice it. Uh, <laughs> just did it again. I could just keep doing it. No, um, I just did, okay, okay, that's enough. Um, <laughs> I love you. I love you. There are tons of people in the world that love you. Like, if your family, if they don't believe you and they love you, hold on to that. Don't get mad at them. And if somebody loves you and they don't believe you, but they still love you, hold on to that. Don't, don't get mad at them. Don't break up that relationship because this is all a weird, bizarre, bizarro world circumstance. You know, hold on to love. Hold on to people that love you. This circumstance, it'll blow over. In the next couple of years, the NSA is going to be taking a task for a lot of stuff it's doing. And, uh, and this stuff's going to be, you know, kind of out. It's going to be out in the media. Um, and then you'll be able to call policemen and, and be like, hey, my neighbors are hitting me with, uh, you know, EMF-directed um, energy weapons, and he'll know what you're talking about. But um, stay strong. Stay strong and just... Get like I say, get with your religion. If you're a Christian, uh, you know, go to the Bible or watch a, uh, you know, watch a religious movie or uh, just get get a book by somebody like Joel Osteen. Um, oh, Joel Osteen! If you're a Christian um, and you're looking for somebody to pump you up, to really pump you up and to talk to you, I mean, it seems like he's talking right to your heart. Uh, Joel Osteen is a great guy. Um, and you can go on YouTube and look up his sermons. Um, if you're not religious, um, you know, or, and, you're, and you're spiritual, you know, uh, guard your spirit. Make your spirit grow. Um, you know, just, just give in to that. The, the power that created this universe wants us all to be happy. Sometimes we have to go through pain, but, you know, it's, this, this situation is so horrible. You know, because there's a lot of hate being pointed at everybody. It's a lot of, you know, poisoning people and this treachery and just, I don't know, it, it goes on and on. Um, we all need to stop and just say, I love you. I love all the Target Adventures. We love each other. And we need to send each other our love and just, uh, in any way possible, and information on how to defend, on uh, just telling our own stories, um... And getting the information out there, nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Like I, um, I've grown up with Crohn's disease, and they said that I was going to only grow up to to be five foot tall. I'm like five foot nine, you know. So it's like all these things where you think you think this is going to happen. God can just take that, and He can just make it into something just miraculous that can help people. That um. They can do good in the world. I mean, like that's what I hope these videos do. I hope that it reaches a lot of targeted individuals and you don't feel alone. And actually, you know, I spoke earlier uh, in, in some of my earlier videos about, you know, uh, hurting my reputation by doing this or whatever. I don't care. I don't care. This is, this is like the imp most important thing in the world to me because this is suffering on a scale of just like every day, every second. And we're human beings. We're being treated worse than animals. Worse than, just the worst that anybody could ever be treated uh, in the history of human beings. I mean, I, I guess uh, the, the Jews, like, um, in Germany, you know, during World War II, I guess we, uh, that, that, they got treated pretty bad. Um, I would compare this to, I would, I would compare that to this. Um... But it's just, you know, just hang in there, hang in there, wait on the helper, you know, your God, um, whatever religion you are, your God, he's there to help you. And if you pray to him, and you like, you ask for strength, and you look around, look around, you know, just ask, ask him to come into your heart, and to, uh, to tell you what to do, to give you advice, to give you direction, and then use your mind after that. So, so, so feel, feel your faith, and then look around. Look around what you have to defend yourself. Look around at your instinct. Can you get away from these people? Ask him. Pray for it. You've already received it. And then jump. 
you know, when, when you have that feeling, just, you know, uh, either run away if you can, if you can get away, or defend yourself with materials, um, pray about it, and you'll get the answer. But the most important thing is to love yourself. You didn't do anything wrong. These people are doing this to you, and they're trying to make you look crazy, or bad, or criminal. Maybe you did do something criminal, but still, you, you should have gone to jail. This is beyond anything else. You know, because I smoke pot. I smoke pot uh, when this all started, so I'm no little angel. You know, I did something illegal, uh, but I thought maybe I would just go to jail, and that would be the worst of it. Um, so I'm not, like, saying that I've never done anything wrong in my life, and that's that's half of the reason these guys went after me. But I don't deserve this. I don't deserve death by radiation and cancer, um, and neither do you. Neither does anybody. So, I love you. I really do. I really love anybody in this situation. You deserve all the strength that you can get, and I want to just... I want to toss it out there, telepathically, I love you, you know, uh, look to God, look to our creator, um, evil's time is short, it's time, evil's time is very short, you know, it'll, it'll till the soil, but it'll only make us better, so just stay good, stay doing good stuff, and, um, you know, trying to produce whatever you want to creatively, uh, try to try to stay in your job or to find a job if you don't have one. You know, go about your life as normal. Pay attention to this kind of stuff, the gang stalking stuff, in a healthy way. Like making these videos, I feel like is healthy. Talking to my psychiatrist is healthy. Um, you know, talking to my parents all the time about it is not healthy. Uh, dwelling on it, which I sometimes I watch tons of YouTube videos on it all the time not very healthy. I need to take my attention off of it. Um, but try and, try and focus the right kind of energy at it and then the rest of your energy elsewhere. And don't let them get you. Don't let them hook you to where you're focusing on what, what these guys, the gang stalkers, want you to. Um, I really do love you all. I really do love you all and I think that you know, all of our miracles are about to come true. All of our miracles are about to happen. God can do stuff in one day that hasn't been done in years on this gang stalking stuff, you know. Um, things can be found out in court, you know, it could be, it, it, like in Russia there are laws against this, in Russia there are laws against gang stalking. Um, so in other countries it's already been, you know, uh, out in the courts. Um, but alright, more videos to come. I just wanted to... You know, because I know there's somebody out there, somebody who is just, you know, at the at their wits' end. And I just want to tell you that that's when you got to just, you know, listen to your heart, look around you, see what you can do, and don't give up. Don't give up. Use love. I love you all, and uh, more videos to come. Bye, guys.